You know, I'm actually really glad that me and Neshi are friends because I don't feel like a cop out doing this video. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because the brand new Crystal B Structure Deck has just been released and what that means is we get access to a ton of really cool cards and a ton of really cool reprints this might be one of the best structure decks in terms of reprints of like all time now why am i excited about today's video it's because we are going to be doing a structure deck opening but we're also going to be showing you how to play this deck on a budget thirty dollars is all you need all you need is three of these structure decks and you are good to go so you guys are going to see an opening and a deck profile in one video now if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on spanko monday through friday and we do product openings duels deck profiles combo videos all that good stuff you guys will see it here on the channel so make sure to stay tuned for all that okay i'm really excited to get into the structure deck so let's get right into it all right guys so here it is three of the brand new legend of the crystal b structure deck okay let me just say that just the artwork and the box on this like structure deck is just insanely beautiful let's get right into it to see the contents before we do the deck profile let's pull this out real quick oh my god i'm so excited for this all right so we get the playmat here of course i hope they make it actually into one of those actual plastic playmats or the rubber playmats we are going to open this up real quick oh baby oh ho, ho. okay 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 so we're starting off of course with the main man himself the rainbow dragon Dragon, the legendary rainbow dragon and ultra rare rarity it's very pretty then we got the ultimate crystal rainbow dragon overdrive what a pretty card this card is absolutely stunning the cover art for the structure deck we also got the crystal beast rainbow dragon i'm surprised they actually reprinted zenith in this because zenith was just printed and goes from the past two however i am really excited you cannot say no to zenith you know zenith is just way too powerful and then okay so this is one of the new cards rainbow bridge of the heart so what do you have four ultra rare so far is there a fifth there is a fifth. Ooh, Crystal Bond is an ultra rare. Very pretty card. Okay, this card is very powerful as well for the Crystal B strategy. So we got a super rare over dragon. Oh, and we got the tokens here. So we got Jesse Anderson, Bonder with the Crystal Beasts. We got Jesse and Ruby unleashing the legend. Okay, so that was it for our hollows. Very pretty cards here. Oh, let me show you guys something before we continue with this. So this is this is really cool. So of course, Neshi being the Crystal Beast guy that he is, he got the structure decks early, but he actually got the Japanese versions, and he actually sent me some signed cards for Crystal to be so just know that when i play this deck when i put this deck together we're going to be playing neshi's signed crystal cards this is really cool i really like the token shout out neshi thank you for sending these over to me bro i appreciate you anyways let's get back into this because the heat is just beginning we have the crystal beast ruby carbuncle of course the amethyst cat we have the emerald tortoise of course they're gonna give us all the crystal beast name topaz amber cobalt eagle and sapphire pegasus the value in the structure deck is insane Ooh, the rainbow dark dragon the advanced crystal beasts are actually going to be coming out soon so i'm excited for that we have crystal master here we have crystal keeper and we have hamon oh of course they gave us hamon a classic sacred could be strategy with the crystal beast there we go okay so this is what i mean by insane value if you're a new player or just beginning or you don't have access to some hand traps this structure deck is the way for you because you got shifter you also got contact c a very relevant card here and there depending on the format this card is very relevant but we also have the common ash blossom guys the fact oh and we get the ghost spell too completely forgot about that okay so we have these three cards three of the most important and most relevant hand traps in today's format or in just a lot of different formats in general so the fact that we have access to all three of these in a single structure deck is insane i'm excited because these three cards make the 30 dollars strategy very very viable and very very budget as well so we have awakening of the crystal ultimate crystal agus we got rainbow ruins rainbow bridge just a bunch of the crystal beast staples over here which i'm really excited about so we got crystal promise crystal tree crystal release rare value just all the crystal beast cards like that you can just imagine advanced dark melody is a really good reprint actually this is a really good reprint foolish burial goods is a really good reprint cosmic cycle clone is a really good reprint it's just another staple reprint over here oh my god like the value on this structure deck is insane crystal miracle is a great card for the deck we got crystal brilliance crystal pear crystal conclave ultimate crystal magic crystal gem or counter gem ferret flames we got metaverse really cool card in here and then a crystal beast token oh and we got uh oh this is a little massive little thing so that's it guys right here there's so much value in this obviously you guys get like all the cool crystal beast cards but you get so many meta staples that you can play outside of the crystal beast strategy which is just so so cool all right so here it is a full 40 card main deck okay yes it's not sleeved i'm sorry it's not sleeved but i'm just gonna show you guys the deck anyways it's 40 cards all right and this is the best way i think to play 
just three of the structure deck purely. Of course, you can optimize it if you can add a few more cards. However, this is just straight up three structure decks. As soon as you open the three structure decks, you can play this deck. Of course, get sleeves for it. Don't be like me, get sleeves, all right? So anyways, we are playing three of your Sapphire Pegasus, the best monster in the deck. It's your best normal summon in the deck, so you want to be playing three of, of course. Then we're playing one of each of the Crystal Beast names, and this is to summon your Rainbow Dragon. You want to be playing one of each just because I think it ups the consistency a little bit. It also gives you access to a couple cards in the deck that you wouldn't otherwise have access to if you didn't play one of each of the names. These are kind of like bricks for you, truthfully. The Ruby is honestly just the best one outside of the Sapphire Pegasus. However, we now do have an eighth name, and that is your Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. So we're playing two Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. This card is insanely powerful, insanely nuts. It makes this deck very, very consistent. It also gives you access to a free special summon of a crystal beast monster at any point in the game so crystal beast rainbow dragon just gives you so many different options to play it gives you access to your rainbow dragon a little bit easier because it's an eighth name it gives you a free special summon this card is insanely nuts and because we are playing it of course we are playing the one rainbow dragon this build can summon the rainbow dragon you can go for otks with rainbow dragon there's a lot of cool plays and obviously because you're playing all the names this is pretty easy to summon it also gives you access to your extra deck which is really powerful so that's why you're playing the one rainbow dragon now for consistency we are playing three crystal master you don't want to actually use your normal summon all the time on crystal master but there's another card in the deck that gives you just the opportunity to use that normal summon if you guys don't know it has an effect where you contribute this card and you can add an ultimate crystal monster aka your rainbow dragon or you can add a crystal spell or trap from your deck to your hand which is very very powerful so that rounds it out for the monsters these are the monsters you're going to want to play it's just the most consistent lineup that you can play through the three structure decks so then because you also want this deck to be as consistent as possible and as competitive, I should say, as possible, just with the three structure decks, you are playing a ton of hand traps. So you're playing three Ash Blossom, three Ghost Spell, which is insane this format, as well as three Shifter, which is just auto win against so many decks this format. So I want to be playing Shifter. Shifter does not hurt this deck whatsoever. You can play around it yourself. This card is going to shut out a lot of today's metagame. And so for that reason, you're just maxing out on all the hand traps given to you in this structure deck because these are just the best ones. Ash is the most generic. Bell and Shifter just happen to be super broken in today's format so you definitely want to be maxing out on all of these so the nine hand traps i think is really important it gives you a little bit more playability when you don't open the greatest hands or you open some of the crystal beast name that you don't want to otherwise open so this just helps you play against your opponent going second especially just activating shifter just turns off your opponent's turn a lot of the time and you can play through the shifter yourself super easily so that's why i actually like playing all nine of these then moving on to the spells, I'm going to be honest with you, Konami gave us some of the craziest spells for this deck. We're playing three Crystal Bond, of course, as well as three Crystal Bridge. These are the most consistent cards in your deck. Oh, I said Crystal Bridge. I mean, I mean Rainbow Bridge. Rainbow Bridge is insanely powerful. It adds any Crystal Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand. So it can search your Crystal Bond, of course. It can also search other Crystal cards, which I'm going to show you in a little bit. And Crystal Bond is really good because you can add a Crystal Beast monster from your deck to your hand. And then you can also place a Crystal Beast monster from a, with a different name from your deck to your Spell and Trap card zone, which is insanely powerful because this also gives you access to your Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon, which is insanely powerful because then you can use its effect to special summon another Crystal Beast from your deck. So you guys can see where the consistency of this deck is, the fact that you can just play three of these, and also Rainbow Bridge is not a once per turn. So if you open two of these, you can add the Crystal Bond, but then you can also further go and add another card from your deck to your hand. So that's really, really powerful about these cards. And then we're playing the one Beacon. Beacon is a really good card because it's a free special summon for you, which is really nice. However, it is a little bit more difficult to get off. So that's why we're just playing the one of. It is also searchable off of Rainbow Ridge if you need it to be so that's why we're just playing the one and then of course we are playing one of the best cards printed in this structure deck three rainbow bridge of the heart oh my god this is insane okay so i wish we got salvation in the structure deck of course we didn't we got it in the mega tins which is really cool so if you guys want to see a full crystal beast deck profile full power i will do that let me know in the comment section down below however rainbow bridge of the heart is insanely powerful just the first line of text it has a really great other effects but the first line of text alone says during your main phase you can normal summon a crystal beast monster in a addition to your normal summoner set that's why it's really good to play a card like crystal master in this deck because you can afford to summon the crystal master you can activate the rainbow bridge and then you can normal summon your sapphire pegasus afterwards so this card is insanely powerful on top of the other really cool effects it has it's pretty much just like a true draco spell card during your main phase once per turn you can destroy a crystal beast card you control or in your hand and if you do you can add another crystal spell or trap from your deck to your hand why that's really cool is because if you destroy a crystal beast that's on your field it'll just crystallize itself into the spell and trap card zone and you get a 
free search. You guys can see how consistent this deck is. Just the fact that you can keep searching cards, getting cards to your hand, and it always makes your hands really, really optimal. And then lastly, for the trap cards, we are playing just the most broken trap cards that they gave us in this. We are playing three Crystal Miracle as well as three Crystal Conclave. These cards are insanely powerful. It gives you a control game style, which is really powerful. Your opponent is going to have to play at your own pace. Conclave control is very famous for Crystal Beasts. And with the three structure decks, you're actually able to play Conclave control to a certain extent, especially because you have Crystal Miracle. These are also trap cards that can be searched off of your Rainbow Bridge. So if you have all the cards that you already need in your hand to combo, you can search your Conclave, you can search your Miracle. They're also both three of, so it's actually not that hard to draw into them, but they're also really, really powerful Miracle, pretty much like a Solemn Strike for the deck, but it also negates Spell or Trap cards. And Crystal Conclave gives you the ability to special summon Crystal Beasts from your deck when a Crystal Beast card you control is destroyed. It also has another really cool effect where you can send it to the graveyard, target a Crystal Beast card you control on a card your opponent control, bounce both those cards. So what makes it really cool is if you have Sapphire Pegasus in your Spell and Trap card zone, you can add your Sapphire Pegasus now back to your hand, and then now you can normal summon the Sapphire back to your side of the field. So these cards are insane. Bro, this structure deck just out of the gate is just so powerful with these cards. It gives you access to so many good cards, right? And then for the extra deck, I'm going to be showing you guys the extra deck real quick. The extra deck here is just the three cards that they gave you, or the two cards, I guess. Three of the Overdrive as well as three of the Over Dragon. Now, these ones, of course, you're going to max out on. We are playing Rainbow Dragon. We can actually make these cards, so they're very powerful in themselves. So that's why you're just going to be maxing out on these. Last thing I want to say about this deck profile just before we end it off here is that there's a card in this structure deck that I didn't mention, and that's Cyclone. So you guys can see in the $40 build, we're not main decking Cosmic Cyclone. Cosmic Cyclone is an insanely powerful card, yes, and it's really good against dealing with against back row matchups. But the really cool thing about this deck is it already has kind of inherent back row removal. Crystal Conclave, like I said earlier, can pretty much target any card on the field and then return it to your hand. So if you're worried about something like a Mystic Mind or any of those like really bad floodgates, Conclave can always get rid of the floodgates for you, which is really nice, right? So Cosmic Cyclone, don't get me wrong, is a great card. It's a card that you would obviously want to play in your side deck. However, I don't think you need it in the main deck for the Crystal Beast strategy. Another really good card in this deck that's actually insanely powerful is the Awakening of the Crystal Ultimates. This card is insanely powerful. However, the reason we're not playing it in the structure deck version is because you need to reveal an ultimate crystal monster in your hand, which means you need to reveal the rainbow dragon. So if you don't have rainbow dragon in your hand, this card is a little bit more difficult to resolve. However, this card is really powerful in some builds. If you're playing outside of just the structure deck, you guys can play this as well. But I just wanted to let you guys know the reason we're not playing this in the structure deck build is because it's kind of a little bit more difficult to resolve. But yeah, that's it. The deck is really, really consistent. I think it's really, really fun just out of the gate. $30 is all you need and you get a full deck. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, I will say the really cool thing about this structure deck for new or just beginning players is that it just has access to so many staples that are really necessary in today's metagame. And the fact that it's only $10 for a structure deck, 13 if you're Canadian, you know, Canadian prices, whatever. But it's such a cheap structure deck, but you're getting so much value in it, plus a really fun deck to play. Hero structure deck next. Okay, we're going to get another hero one, I swear going to happen but thank you guys all for watching make sure to like the video and subscribe if you guys haven't already i appreciate every single one of you we upload five days a week here on spanko deck profiles duels product openings all that good stuff you all see it here on the channel so make sure you're subscribed to tune into all of that we're on the road to 10,000. i know we can make it happen i believe in the spanko squad thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace